Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com answering your questions on my long road trip back from training. This question comes from Phil. He wants to know if resting his foot on the clutch pedal is a good idea or a bad idea and can it cause any damage to the car. So if you drive a manual transmission, you know there's that small amount of play in the clutch pedal where nothing's really happening. It's almost like a free play space. Phil wants to know if resting his foot on that is a problem. Well, Phil, it can be a problem. In fact, I would recommend against it. Uh, for the most part, there's two style of clutches, and I think most now are actually hydraulic clutches. So there's hydraulic clutches and there's cable clutches. If it's a cable, it has a cable from the top of the clutch pedal through the firewall to the engine compartment to a slave cylinder. When you push the clutch, it'll actually push push rod and push the bracket that the release bearing rides on into the clutch pedal to pull the clutch off of the engine. The other side style is hydraulic where it does all that same kind of stuff. There's just fluid that pushes the pistons instead of a cable. If we rest our foot on that first little bit, we run the risk of actually partially engaging the clutch. Probably not enough that you're gonna feel a difference, probably not enough that you're gonna smell like a burning clutch smell, but taking all the slack and just barely pushing the release bearing onto the friction plate. And when we do that, now we cause contact. And that contact over time can prematurely wear the bearing, um, it can prematurely wear the fingers on the friction plate, and it can even like partially start slipping the clutch which we really don't want to do. It's never a good idea to rest your foot on the clutch. You either want it in or you want it out. That's why cars that have the dead pedal next to the clutch are nice, so that you don't have to have your foot sitting like you're sitting in a chair. You can kind of rest it so that your feet actually mirror each other. Right now I'm sitting with my left foot on the dead pedal of this Passat and my right foot on the gas pedal, which I'm gonna set the cruise so I don't have to do that anymore. So I have them now, they're equally sitting at the same angle. If I'm resting on the clutch, I really do run the risk of partially engaging the clutch. There's no reason you want to introduce any more potential points of failure on any system of the vehicle, but especially the clutch, because there's not gonna be any hope for any kind of warranty if your car's under warranty. And we don't wanna pay anybody to, 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 to take the transmission out of our car, to replace a clutch, to replace a clutch, uh, friction disc, uh, release bearing, pressure plate, a flywheel. Uh, we don't want to have to worry about the master cylinder or slave cylinder on the hydraulic systems. And we don't want to worry about pulling weird tension on the cable and causing the cable to stretch prematurely or need adjustment more than it should. So all in all, for all those reasons, bad idea. I would recommend if you're doing it, probably stop. Uh, if you're thinking, man, this sounds like a good idea, I would recommend against it. That's what the dead pedal is for. If you don't have a dead pedal, you can probably put one in your car, or you can simply just rest your foot on the floor. That's what I do when I drive a manual transmission car. So, Phil, I'm not beating up on you. That's a great question. I think that's something that a lot of people do actually do is rest their foot on the clutch pedal. But again, I, I really don't recommend that you do that. You wouldn't rest your foot on the brake pedal in the spot that had felt like it had free play because you're you know gonna activate your brake lights potentially or even potentially drag your brakes another thing i didn't mention is your cruise control probably won't work because you're resting your foot on the clutch pedal in manual transmissions car manual transmission cars have a switch so that the ecm knows you're pushing in the clutch that'll deactivate the cruise control so if you guys have a question let me know email me charles at humblemechanic.com put question for charles in the subject Ask your question right at the top, mash the enter button a few times, then give me the details. That really does help me answer your question much, much faster. If you like the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You guys can also subscribe, of course, here on YouTube, or head over to the blog at humblemechanic.com and sign up there. You can follow me on all the typical social media platforms that everybody's on right now. If there's something new, let me know so I can check that out too. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.